Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 10th February 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has overruled its division bench judgment in SH Medical Center Hospital versus State of Kerala and others to the extent it held that charitable purpose meant only relief of the poor and free medical relief. The court has held that to seek regularization a daily rated employee must have been initially appointed by a competent authority and there must be a sanctioned post on which he must be working The Supreme Court five judge constitution bench has referred the question of the validity of the practice of excommunication prevalent among the Davudi Boras to a nine judge bench constituted to decide the correctness of the first Sabri Mala judgment The Supreme Court Constitution Bench has upheld the power of the Bar Council of India to require law graduates to qualify for the All India Bar Examination as an eligibility criterion to practice law in India. News highlights from the High Courts starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court has held that period within which party is required to approach court for constitution of arbitral tribunal cannot be conflated with limitation period for invoking arbitration agreement thus delay in taking steps for constitution of tribunal would not render claims as time barred the high court has directed delhi government to ensure strict compliance of a sop issued by the ministry of road transport and highways on december 17 2018 in respect of validation of driving license registration certificates and other transport related documents in electronic form the high court while observing that merely because there is no express provision in cpc regarding in camera proceedings does not mean that such proceedings cannot be allowed by the court has held that the same can be allowed to be held in appropriate cases under section 151 of cpc The High Court while hearing a Suomoto case initiated by it in the year 2020 concerning expedited trial of cases against MPs and MLAs has directed trial courts to decide pending cases against former and sitting MPs and MLAs on priority. News highlights from other high courts in the country. The Kerala High Court has held that in the absence of enough evidence that the gold ornaments given to the wife at the time of marriage was entrusted by her to her husband or her in-laws it would not be possible to recover the same under the prevention of dowry act 1961 this concludes the news for today thank you so much